guys, so today we're going to central Oxford and we're going to spend some time showing you best things to do beyond the university colleges. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. I'm about to catch my bus, so I'll see you there in about two minutes. Hey guys, so if you arrive into Oxford, you're likely to come to Gloucester Green and luckily, literally one minute walk from here is the Gloucester Green Market that happens on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So let's see what's going on. I love how the avocados here are so cheap, one and a half pounds for the whole bowl. Yeah, no, <laughs> They're quite big. Good deal. The market is absolutely booming, so many people, tons of food and the smell is absolutely amazing. Gonna have to go and eat something I think, even though we had breakfast like an hour ago. Hey guys, so we couldn't decide what to get in the end we saw a Momo shop and that's always a winner in our heart because we love Nepal. So we got some Momos! How did you feel? They look so good. I can't believe we can get this in the middle of Oxford. <laughs> so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try it. That's a, I think that's just a motivating thing. Is the very first experiment. Well, very good. Hey guys, so if you arrive on Wednesday, you get the fresh fruit and vegetable market. Then on Thursday, it's the antique market. And on Saturdays, um, they have sort of like a mixture of uh, selling some fresh veg, antique shops, but also uh, like food stalls and stuff. So uh, out of those three days, like if you're actually deciding to come from London, uh, to Oxford, make sure you probably drop on one of those days. Alright, as we go into Covered Market, we have to go through the main thoroughfare of Oxford, which is called the Corn Market, and it's always, always full of people. Lots going on, musicians, artists, whatever. So, if you come here, you'll know where you are, trust me. Alright, so we're inside the covered market and one of the most famous shops that I knew from ages ago is the cake shop and they have the most amazing shapes of cakes that you can think of, have a look. So another shop that's really, really famous amongst the Oxfordians is the hat shop. So every time you need to go to a special event and get a nice hat, or if you're meeting a queen, this is the place to buy your hat. If you have a sweet tooth, another one to check out in Covered Market is the Ben's Cookies. It's really famous, been around for a while and a lot of people come here to get their pack of different flavors and different varieties of cookies that they make. Quite unique. I'm craving coffee, so we're gonna make a stop at this cafe called The Handlebar, which is supposed to be very cool and with a very unique decor. Let's go check it out.
Hey guys, one of the things you should definitely try and do is to come to the canal to rent a boat and spend half an hour on an hour just riding around. Really, really great to see the city from a different perspective. I would definitely encourage you to do this and we used to do this a lot when we lived here. I'm very excited to show you guys the next stop. It's called Grand Cafe and it's the oldest cafe in England. I'll see if Tokai lets me buy some scones. Probably not. Only for myself. <laughs> I was really looking forward to having some tea and scones at the Grand Cafe but unfortunately it was very crowded so we had to skip it this time but if you come to Oxford and you fancy some cream tea this is definitely a place that we can recommend If you are into Instagram like myself this is the place to be I think it's an Oxford thing, I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> okay guys, we stopped for a really unhealthy snack of beer, pins, chips. So this place is really really famous for students coming after the exams and celebrating the last day of the term. And the beer here is really good, I got myself some lager, pretty nice. How was pink? So, lots of students here from Oxford, so if you really want to taste the experience of mingling with the guys from Oxford University, definitely come here. Obviously in the summer there's not as many, but during the year it's not as quiet as it is now, I guarantee you. If you fancy some shopping, this is the place to come and shop. But our favorite part is the roof terrace where you can get amazing views of the city. Alright, guys, so we're on the rooftop of Westgate Center. This place is so good, especially when the weather is nice as today, the sun is shining. I'm getting all the vitamin D I need and there's tons of restaurants, bars and cafes here but if like us you don't actually have a lot of money to spend you can also go to a free piece of artificial grass here on the rooftop lie down there, they actually have nice sunbeds and just have fun Hey guys this is the end of the road for us today. We're really exhausted, especially the alcohol in the last bar really killed us off with the sun. So we'll call it a day. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box below. All the details of the trip will be in the description box. So for now, au revoir.